Hong Kong Cantonese Chinese, Shanggang Yu Yu is a dialect of the Cantonese language commonly spoken in Hong Kong, as well as Macau. Although the Hong Kong people largely identify this variant of Chinese with the term Cantonese, Guangdong Hua, a variety of publications in mainland China describe the variant as Hong Kong speech. Shanggang. There are slight differences between the pronunciation used in Hong Kong Cantonese and that of the Cantonese spoken in the neighboring Chinese province of Guangdong, where Cantonese based on the Guangzhou dialect is a main lingua franca. Over the years, Hong Kong Cantonese has also absorbed foreign terminology and developed a large set of Hong Kong specific terms. These differences from the Guangzhou dialect are the result of British rule between 1841 and 1997, as well as the closure of the Hong Kong-China border immediately after the establishment of the People's Republic of China in 1949. History Before the arrival of British settlers in 1842, the inhabitants of Hong Kong mainly spoke the Dongguan Bao and Tungkan Po on and Tonka dialects of Yu, as well as Hakka and Teochew. These languages and dialects are all remarkably different from Guangzhou Cantonese. After the British acquired Hong Kong Island, Kowloon Peninsula and the new territories from the Qing between 1841 officially 1842 and 1898, large numbers of merchants and workers came to Hong Kong from the city of Canton, the main center of Cantonese. Cantonese became the dominant spoken language in Hong Kong. The frequent migration between Hong Kong and mainland Cantonese-speaking areas did not cease up until 1949, when the Communists took over mainland China. During this period, the Cantonese spoken in Hong Kong was very similar to that in Canton. In 1949, the year that the People's Republic of China was established, Hong Kong saw a large influx of refugees from different areas of mainland China. The Hong Kong government closed the border to halt the massive influx, but illegal immigration from mainland China into Hong Kong continued. Because of this, the correspondence between language and ethnicity may generally be true though not absolute, as many Chinese who speak Hong Kong Cantonese may come from other areas of China, especially Shanghai or non-Cantonese regions of Guangdong where Hakka and Teochew prevail. Movement, communication and relations between Hong Kong and mainland China became very limited, and consequently the evolution of Cantonese in Hong Kong diverged from that of Guangzhou. In mainland China, the use of Mandarin as the language of official use and education was enforced. In Hong Kong, Cantonese is the medium of instruction in schools, along with written English and written Chinese. And because of the long exposure to English during the colonial period, large number of English words were loaned into Hong Kong Cantonese, e.g. Ba Shi, P.A. Acute S, literally, Bus. Hong Kong people even started to calc English constructions, for example, Dan Han Do Wu make sense, literally, it still does not make sense. Therefore, the vocabularies of Cantonese in mainland China and Hong Kong substantially differed. Moreover, the pronunciation of Cantonese changed while the change either did not occur in mainland China or took place much slower. For example, merging of initial n into l and the deletion of t were observed. Due to the limited communication between Hong Kong and mainland China, these changes only had a limited effect in mainland China at that time. As a result, the pronunciation of Cantonese between Hong Kong and mainland China varied, and so native speakers may note the difference when listening to Hong Kong Cantonese and mainland China Cantonese. Hong Kong-based Cantonese can be found in Hong Kong popular culture such as Hong Kong films and Hong Kong pop music Cantopop. Hong Kong people who have emigrated to other countries have brought Hong Kong Cantonese to other parts of the world. Pronunciation In modern-day Hong Kong, many native speakers are unable to distinguish between certain phoneme pairs, causing them to merge one sound into another. Although this is often considered sub-standard and is frequently denounced as lazy sound, Lan Yin the phenomenon is becoming more widespread and is influencing other Cantonese-speaking regions. Contrary to popular opinion, some of these changes are not recent. 
The loss of the velar nasal was documented by Williams 1856, and the substitution of the liquid nasal L for the nasal initial N was documented by Cowles 1914. List of observed shifts Merging of N initial into L initial Merging of initial into null initial Merging of K and K initials into K and K when followed by Note that is the only glide Gia Yin in Cantonese. Merging of and K codas into N and T codas respectively, eliminating contrast between these pairs of finals except after E and O A N A A T A K N K N and T K. Merging of the two syllabic nasals into per meter, eliminating the contrast of sounds between Wu surname ing and Wu not. Merging of the rising tones, Yin Shang second and Yang Shang fifth. Today in Hong Kong, people still make an effort to avoid these sound merges in serious broadcasts and in education. Older people often do not exhibit these shifts in their speech, but some do. With the sound changes, the name of Hong Kong. S Hang Seng Bank, Shang Gang Eng Sheng Yin Shing H K H S N H becomes H N K N H N S N N H N, sounding like Hun. Khan. Itchy body, N Shen H N S N. Un cold, U N Han, N H N. The name of Cantonese itself. Guang Dong, Guang Dong speech. Would be K T W, without the merger, whereas K T W, sounding like Zhang Dong Wa. Speak Eastern speech. And K N T W, sounding like Gan Dong Wa. Chase away Eastern speech. Are overwhelmingly popular, the shift affects the way some Hong Kong people speak other languages as well. This is especially evident in the pronunciation of certain English names. Nicole, pronounce Let Co, Nancy, pronounce Lanzi, etc. A very common example of the mixing of N and L is that of the word Ni, meaning you. Even though the standard pronunciation should be nei, the word is often pronounced lei, which is the surname li, or the word li, meaning theory. The merger of n and l also affects the choice of characters when the Cantonese media transliterates foreign names. Prescriptivists who try to correct these lazy sounds often end up introducing hypercorrections. For instance, while attempting to ensure that people pronounce the initial t, they may introduce it into words which have historically had a null initial. One common example is that of the word I, meaning love, even though the standard pronunciation would be I, but the word is often pronounced I. In recent years, a number of Hong Kong secondary schools have tried to reverse this change by making the learning of Cantonese pinyin part of the school Chinese curriculum. Unique phrases and expressions Due to Hong Kong's unique historical background, Hong Kong Cantonese has evolved differently from the Mandarin spoken in China, Taiwan and Singapore over the years. Hong Kong Cantonese has developed a number of phrases and expressions that are unique to the context of Hong Kong. These phrases and expressions usually make references to specific things that can only be found in Hong Kong or specific incidents that happened in Hong Kong. Here are a few examples. Here, the former refers to Hong Kong's status as a British colony, where prisoners are detained on behalf of the sovereign, and is similar to the English colloquial expression, guest of Her Majesty, live at Her Majesty. S. Pleasure. The latter refers to the transfer of sovereignty of Hong Kong to China in 1997. The situations alluded to are both unique to Hong Kong. Loanwords Life in Hong Kong is characterized by the blending of Asian, Southern Chinese in particular, and Western cultures, as well as the city's position as a major international business center. In turn, Hong Kong influences have also spread widely into other cultures. As a result, a large number of loanwords are created in Hong Kong and then exported to mainland China, Taiwan, Singapore, and Japan. Some of the loanwords have become even more popular than their Chinese counterparts, in Hong Kong as well as in their destination cultures. Imported loanwords Selected loanwords are shown below. 
From English From Japanese From French Exported loanwords Into English Into mainland Chinese Mandarin Into Taiwanese Mandarin Into Japanese Code switching and loanword adaptation Hong Kong Cantonese has a high number of foreign loanwords. Sometimes, the part of speech of the incorporated words are also changed, like, Ku de hao friend, translated into English as, They are very friend, means, They are good friends. The word, friend, is changed from a noun into an adjective. In some examples, some new meanings of English words are even created. For example, G ya, literally, the most ya, means the trendiest. Originally, ya means yes, okay in English, but it means trendy when being incorporated into Hong Kong Cantonese. See also, ya baby and ah ya. Semantic change is common in loanwords, when foreign words are borrowed into Cantonese, polysyllabic words and monosyllabic words tend to become disyllabic, and the second syllable is in the upper rising tone, the second tone. For example, con 1 c 2 coins, sek 6 kyo 1 security, and ka 1 c 2 cast. A few polysyllabic words become monosyllabic though, like mon 1. Monitor, literally means computer monitor. And some new Cantonese lexical items are created according to the morphology of Cantonese. For example, LAAI1G, from the word library. Most of the disyllabic words and some of the monosyllabic words are incorporated as their original pronunciation, with some minor changes according to the Cantonese phonotactics. Incorporating words from foreign languages into Cantonese is also acceptable by most Cantonese speakers. Hong Kong Cantonese speakers frequently code mix although they can distinguish foreign words from Cantonese ones. For instance, Dan Do Wu makes sense, literally means, it doesn't make sense. After a Cantonese speaker decides to code mix a foreign word in a Cantonese sentence, syntactical rules of Cantonese will be followed. For instance, Sure. Ken Ding can be used like Ni Su One Wu Su One A Three. Are you sure? As if it were its Cantonese counterpart. Ni Ken Wu Ken Ding? Using the A not a question construction. In some circumstances, code mixing is preferable because it can simplify sentences. For example, instead of code switching and using check in. In expressions like ni check zuo in wei nei 5 cek 1 zo 2 in 6 mei 6 a 3. Have you checked in yet? People will have to use the pure Cantonese expression ban li dang ji shou shu, bon 6 lei 5 dang 1 gay 1 sao 2 zuk 6. Check in on a plane, which contains six syllables. See also Bilingualism in Hong Kong Cantonese profanity Code switching in Hong Kong Proper Cantonese pronunciation Comparison of national standards of Chinese Hong Kong English Varieties of Chinese References External links Learn Cantonese with Cantonese English – English Cantonese Dictionary Learn Chinese with Chinese Lyrics Now with Pinyin and Sound Files Jiyutping Romanization of Cantonese Reading of Chinese Characters Using in Hong Kong